Hey everybody, if you don't already know, I'm O and welcome to my channel. I don't know about you, but I am ready for some outdoor living. So today we're working on our screened in porch. Check it out. First, we're gonna be making some much needed changes to these floors and the light fixtures. Both are dirty and need a fresh coat of paint. So let's just get started. This is everything that I picked up from Home Depot. This is for the floor. This is for the light sconce fixture thingamajig. And this was on sale. It's just like the bulbs that I already have, but it came with a pack of two bulbs and a power strip for $14.99. It comes with a remote and I'm not painting nothing to, well no. I'm gonna go tape off the light fixtures to get that ready for painting. So as I said before, these light fixtures are dirty, they're rusted, so I'm just wiping down any dust and debris that's hanging from them. I'm also showing you how I use drop cloths and some painter's tape so that I could uh, prep the area for painting. This allows me to paint the fixture a new color without having to remove it from the wall and deal with wires and all of that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So this allows me to get it done and um, protect the rest of the area from getting covered in paint. You also wanna make sure that you tape off the area where the light fixture screws in the socket and make sure that the power is off. I wanna thank you all for clicking on my channel. If you are new here, welcome, I'm O. The primary function of my channel is lifestyle with a heavy emphasis on creativity. I do lots of DIYs, home improvement, home decor, but I'm a whole person. So I like to share the whole person. So you never know what you're gonna get. If that sounds like something that interests you, I encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Just like love, it don't cost a thing. Make sure that you Hit the like button, leave me a comment on your way out, but most importantly, ring my bell. That way you are notified next time I drop more content. I was so excited to get to work on this porch project, you guys. It is a place where my family and I spend a lot of time during the spring and the summertime, just hanging out, chilling, eating, chatting, reading, you know, all of that good stuff. Um, it's one of our safe spaces. Well, our home in it of itself is our safe space. It's a sanctuary. It's kind of like playing tag when you get to base, you're safe. Nothing can touch you there. And there's so much going on in this world. It is so important to have a safe space. So I hope that wherever you guys are, whatever you're doing, that you feel safe and that you have a sanctuary. And if not, I hope this video encourages you to create one of your own. For the most part it's done now i'm going to touch up those areas so that i can get everything back on this side
All right. That's as good as that's going to get. Off to the store. I'm getting ready to take these outside. Let me see. That's better. Take these outside. And I'm going to drop cloth. And then I'm going to spray paint them black. So next up, more lights. I want, let me back up, let me back up, let me back up, let me back up, let me back up. Okay, so I'm trying to make some sort of like pendant light, but with sort of a seagrass type of, I'll try to insert a picture of the look that I'm trying to go for. So I have this um, luau skirt from Dollar Tree. I'm probably going to need more, but I'm just going to start what I with what I have. And this colander, also from Dollar Tree, luau skirt, colander, and then I'm going to use my hot glue gun and see what we come up with. So as I mentioned, this is a screened in porch. Um, so when it rains, it doesn't get wet on the porch, but there's like moisture that comes through. So instead of um, buying expensive outdoor waterproof curtains, um, because those can get kind of costly, I just ordered some uh, shower curtain, fabric shower curtains from Amazon. These are um, the same ones that I already have up here, but they've been up there for years. They're beyond washing, you guys. They are dingy, so it is time for a new set. And I'm still using shower curtain hooks. Those work just fine. So now you can see the clean one versus the dirty one. Yeah. Come. I need you to climb up there and take that down. Thank you. Lorna to the rescue. whole other side has to be cleaned. Okay, so I have these shelves that I picked up from Amazon. One is this shape, and then the other is round. Super cute. like that. So I'm just going to put this part.
picked up this frame on clearance from Marshall. Isn't that cute? I'm just gonna put like a little porch art in there and I'll show you what I put in it in a second. So during the course of trying to get this porch together, the weather was all over the place. Like, and you can tell from the video that this is taking place over, you know, a stretched out period of time because I just, it's some days it was just too cold to get out there on this particular day. Um, you can see I'm wearing a heavy jacket and I came right in and just got to work. Didn't even take the jacket off. So yeah, this would have been done a long time ago had it not been for Mother Nature. So I mentioned in one of my most recent videos about shopping in the Amazon warehouse. Um, that's where I got these um, shades from. I only ordered one because first I wanted to see if I liked it. Second, I wanted to see if I like how they function because if it was something difficult to handle, I was gonna be like, no. But what I think I'm gonna do going forward is I will link the item in the description along with the original price um, as well as what the price was ordering it from the warehouse so that you can see the difference in how you you know can save doing it that way. I was pleasantly surprised with how easy the functionality of these shades are. You just um, find the little hoops, uh, drill a hole, and then screw the hooks in and then hang them from the hooks. And then I wanted them to be easily rolled up and rolled down, you know, for privacy. So I like how these turned out. So I will be going back, of course, to the warehouse first, check and see if there's any available. Um, and then if there's not, then, you know, I'll just get them for the regular price, but I'm going to check the warehouse first, get some more sets. And, um, probably, I don't know if I'll cover the whole porch, but definitely this side of the porch. Okay. So the light came and I'm just putting the batteries in her. It takes three double A's. Triple double. Snap. Pat honey. Okay. Ooh, she changes color, honey. Oh. Okay, so you can use the remote and press it. That's cool. So I'm just gonna put the back back on and then the magnet or the adhesive okay you take this off stick it on the back it's not the front the back it's good enough and then I take this part off and stick it over there let's go do that Oh. Okay, so it's going up there. Okay. Now have the remote. Uh, where are your hand? Okay, off, on, boom. I wanted to make sure to leave the sounds of the birds chirping 
in the background i wanted to leave that in the video because that is like one of my favorite parts of sitting out here i just enjoy hearing them chirping and singing is definitely adds to the vibe There are several items that I used for this porch makeover that I purchased from Amazon. So those will be linked down in the description. Thank you all once again for clicking on this video. If you've made it this far and stuck it out to the end, I greatly appreciate that. You guys, I hope you're leaving with some inspiration. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And most importantly, don't forget to ring my bell. So until next time, you guys, thanks for watching.